In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use mConnect software to configure the relay contact on a Unidrive M702. Today, I'm working with the Unidrive M702. However, all of the drives in the Unidrive M family come equipped with a single, user programmable relay contact. The relay contact is wired into terminals 41 and 42. This is a dry contact relay so the supply and load may be wired to either terminal. The specifications for the relay contact are shown here. The range of input voltage that may be used on the relay contact is from 12 volts DC at 100 milliamps up to 240 volts AC at 2 amps. Let's take a closer look at the maximum current rating. The maximum current that can be supplied by the relay contact depends on the type of load that it's connected to. An example of an inductive load would be the coil on a relay, such as the coil of an electromechanical holding brake. An example of a resistive load would be when the relay is wired into a PLC input card or a pilot light. You must use caution to not overload the relay contact by connecting it to a device that requires more current than the relay can supply. Next, let's take a look at the relay contact in mConnect software. Here I have mConnect software open and I've already created a new project for the M702 by scanning for it using my computer's Ethernet adapter. I'm online with the drive too. Like any other digital input or output, the relay contact is configured using menu 8. So let's have a look at menu 8. The function of the relay contact is configured using menu 8, parameter number 27. By default, the relay is configured to activate as long as the drive is not in a tripped condition. This is accomplished by assigning the source parameter for the relay to menu 10, parameter number 1, which is drive healthy. For a different view of the relay contact, and to see some additional parameters that are also associated with the relay contact, let's have a look at the block diagram for menu 8. Block diagrams are a visual means of seeing how our drive parameters relate to each other. Here I have the block diagram open and I'm going to select the submenu that will show the relay contact settings. I'm also going to zoom in and pan so you can see this better. MConnect block diagrams present a schematic view of the three parameters that are associated with the relay contact. Menu 8, parameter 27, which is the source or trigger that will activate the relay. Menu 8, parameter 17, which has the effect of making the relay contact either normally open, which is the default function, or normally closed if I activate it. The last parameter is menu 8, parameter 7. This parameter indicates the current state of the relay. I can also use the block diagram to change the source directly. If I double click on menu 8, parameter 27, I can choose whatever source I'd like to use for the relay contact. For this example, I'll choose to use menu 10, parameter 3 which will activate the relay whenever the motor is at zero speed or frequency. Of course, the last thing you should do is to save any changes you've made to the drive parameters by clicking on the Save Parameters in Drive icon on the ribbon bar. If you'd like to make a backup copy of the drive parameters, be sure to click the Upload from Drive icon like this. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative, and if you have any questions, I can be reached at the email shown here. Please refer to the training section of our website for more information about our training courses and to see our current training schedule.